coming into this gallery, you're going to see things that you've probably seen before, but many that you have not. And what makes them really exciting is that you're going to see them for the first time together. Totem poles from the northwest coast, a 14-foot crucifix, a first face chief's blanket, paintings by Thomas Moran, Albert Bierstadt, contemporary native artists like Matteo Romero. These are all some of the unexpected and wonderful combinations that we've pulled together from the Audrey collections to speak to the rich and diverse um, experience of the West as a source of creative inspiration. This installation is groundbreaking in several respects. First, it acknowledges the history of the Autry, but it also acknowledges and brings into play the Autry National Center's collection of Southwest American Indian art, and that does so in a way that views these objects together as part of the same history. One of the most exciting things about doing a gallery like this is you really get to explore the objects up close, and especially objects that, you know, as art historians, we don't necessarily get to work with all the time. Allowing these objects to both be objects and to speak in the language of the visual material that they are made with, this is an essential way of understanding the art's relationship to a larger culture and history of exhibition. And that's actually a very thoughtful way that the curatorial uh, agenda here has been opened up to get us to think about the conditions of exhibition as much as the objects that are on view. One of my favorite pieces from the collection that um, we got to spend a great deal of time with are these wonderful buffalo chairs from the 1840s. And together, they speak to the commodification of the West, almost as sort of a cartoonish image from the European perspective, but at the same time, they are incredibly beautiful, amazing pieces of decorative art that were like everything in this gallery, exquisitely made, and represent somebody's unique creative vision.